Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Oh, EO4. Sorry, one, I think we should stop for a second. Okay. Fraps didn't pick up. Why is that? Oh, because the hotkey changed. Okay. Did you tab out or something? Or just uh, yeah, it, it was just weird like that. Okay, let me try this again. Three, two, one, sync. All right, good to go. Okay, you, you're good, Mathis. Yep, I'm good. All right, line five, four, three, two. Hello and welcome. I'm Aruba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 with Northern Lion and Mathis. Say hi, guys. Hello. 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 Let's do it. Let's do you it. You guys want to just like dive right in and yeah. see how it's going? I mean, absolutely. We're just fumbling around I'm, as it is anyway, so. Oh, somebody accepted. See, I don't remember anything that was <laughs> It has been like a week since we last recorded. Mm. That's true. Yeah, you just got back from, uh, from Paradox Con. In I, fact. I did indeed. And, you know, ask me anything about Europa Universalis 4 Wealth of Nations, and I will direct you to somebody who can actually answer it because that expansion's <laughs> all about trade, and I have no idea what's up with that. Pirates. That's what I got. Yes, you can indeed hire privateers. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. Pirate, pirate ships? Uh, ships. yeah, I think, or you can designate, like, parts of your fleet as pirates, and then they become, like, independent or something. Anyway. Mm, that's different. Don't actually ask me anything about uh, the expansion, because I probably will not be able to answer it adequately. All right, I won't. So I would do my best. So though. I'm trying to figure out uh, well, what happened last episode. We obviously went to fight with the Maya. I got a little land out of it. I'm trying to figure out which one I'm annexing right now. Is there a way to figure out which one I'm annexing? Yeah, if you, um, if you mouse over your diplomats at the top, it should tell you what you're, they're doing. Okay, okay. Awesome. Well... The other thing you can do is if you open up the outliner, you can see... Open up the outliner. Yeah, it's the thing on the right-hand side of the screen, like right above where the pause button outliner. is and the speed. Yep, gotcha. I, I can't play without having that thing open. So it Yo, shows you're you, out of control. It shows you everything. <laughs> you it shows relax. you your army. Relax. Aruma, why your... are you allied with Cheyenne up here? I don't know. Who's Cheyenne? Cheyenne is the province right next to your Abenaki near Miami. Um... Okay, Wichita's being annexed. Got it. I don't know. I guess maybe I wanted to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, well, maybe, that's fine. Maybe too. I had it. It was a mission, maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. Cheyenne's opinion is at plus 100. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, fair enough. So I'll get them to 100 and then I'll backstab them. Should I invest <laughs> into the early Karak? The Diplomacy 3, is that? Or 2? The first true yeah. ocean-going ship. Unlike galleys and cogs, Carracks can serve the role of proper ocean-going warships. I I went with it, I think, uh, just because I don't really have anything else to do with my tech points right now. Done. Yeah, I, uh, I've got level three as well. I'm not really making any of them, though. Because, like, by the time the, the Westerners get here, they're going to be, like, level 15 tech, so any of your ships are just going to be worthless. Uh, that's what you think, but there's no uh, substitute <laughs> for good old-fashioned elbow grease. Pretty Possibly. sure the Maya are about to be absorbed by the Zapotec. Yeah, that blows my mind, by the way. Cause <laughs> we, well, the, to be fair, it was me as the war leader, which is already like a minus 50% chance. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty amazing and also scares the shit out of me about what the Zapotec have going on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring down there and seeing what exactly they have. Oh, we're never going to be invited uh, uh, for that continent. Why is that? We, sh we shouldn't be allowed. Did you see what we did last time we were there? <laughs> I am going to try to improve relations with them, though, and maybe they can help us fight the new world. I'm so tempted to... Like, it's frustrating for me because we, um, you know, we're playing on version 1.4, and I've, I've tried playing in the beta patch, mm -hmm. and, like, in the next version of the game, 1.5, when you build buildings, if you migrate, you get to keep your buildings. That is and really good. I like that a lot. It's like the game is incomplete. <laughs> like, I don't want to build anything. I feel like it's a waste of money. Yeah. Of course, we're all too large to migrate anymore, but still. Is it still only one province for migration, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, but I guess that makes sense, but... It's kind of cool, though, you know? You, like, build up a whole bunch of really cool buildings and then migrate around a bunch. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you build, like, a fire pit, it seems like there should be no reason why you can't bring the fire <laughs> pit. <laughs> Irrigation, I, I sort of get, but... That shit's complicated technology, man. It might be, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I'm just being really culturally insensitive or something, but no it seems can... like it's something you could take with you relatively easily. No one can build a fire pit like the natives. 
That's I can't funny. tell I, if that's offensive or not, but it sounds like begrudgingly <laughs> complimentary. I have a, uh, I've got a mission to repair relations with Portugal, and I haven't even discovered them yet. <laughs> well, you better repair your relations with them. You should take it. So well, I, I, I can't. I can't actually send a diplomat to talk to him. I haven't found him. That's funny, though. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, I, I've got something that will be maybe neat for you, Arumba, if you didn't... Uh... Okay, well, I'll, I'll just lead into it. We're at the EU4 thing, and we were talking to the lead uh, designer on EU4, and we were asking... Uh, Quill, in particular, was asking, like, okay, so in my videos, people shit on me because I u always use admin points to buff my stability up to three, which means you don't get stability plus one events anymore, and you get a lot of stability negative events. But, like, what diplomacy or what uh, stability do you buff yourself up to? And he's like, I always go up to three. Like, why wouldn't I? So, there you go. There's a, there's a question from our Paradox Plaza, sorted out straight from the horse's mouth. Hmm. I think that. There's always going to be critics. It doesn't matter what you do. There are going to be people who oh, it's not right. <laughs> I, I can but, see the argument for both sides. It's just like the way he handled it. He's just like, what are those people talking about? Yeah. Well, it's true. Like if you're playing for score or something, you get tons of extra score from having stability. So, oh, really? Yeah. Like um, I'm playing in my single player campaign. I'm trying to get to first place. I started off as the Pawnee. Yeah. And Trying to actually catch up to like a lucky nation like France or England or something is yeah. really hard. So you have to do everything you can to actually eke out more points. How uh, do you do? You have any score right now? Uh, no, no, I have zero. You points. gotta be getting sort of close though. I'm 16th in admin rank right now. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but just based on uh, well, we can check the ledger. I think it's probably based on income, most likely. All right, admin the war rank. with the Maya and the Zapotec have ended. By the way. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I guess it could have been worse for them. They ate into it a little bit. Well, who are they allied with? In the coalition against Zapotec, truce with Zapotec. Hmm. Who, Maya? <laughs> yeah. Tar they, uh, the Zapotec are the target of the coalition. Target of the coalition of Maya. Now we should go back and take the Maya out. Yeah, I'm going to wait for my, I my shit to be done first. <laughs> I know that went badly last time. <laughs> I'm going to wait till but... I'm fully annexed out of, uh, I've got my lands, all right? I'm telling you, dude, now's the time, though. <laughs> I can't, I have no di diplom uh, diplomats to send to declare war. Oh, that's a lie. I don't, that one's improving relations so I can annex one of them, the other one's annexing the other country. That's a lie. Oh, you're a pain in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> wait, right, do, you, do, gonna... you have, like, do you have two diplomats annexing right now? Is that what you said? One's improving, one's annexing. Oh, uh, okay. Are you improving with the Zapotec? No, I'm improving with my other continent, the other piece of land that I want to annex. So they're out of, uh, they gotta that makes sense. Thing. Yes. No, I'm not improving with the Zapotec, though I probably should. That's what I'm doing for now. Just please don't attack me. They won't take an alliance because their borders are too far away, but they might take an alliance with one of with Mathis in particular because you've got a, a border near them. Uh, no, you you sort of do. You have a vassal near them. Mm. It'll be it'll gotta, be close enough though. <clears throat> It'll be quite a while before you can actually... Are you annexing what, one of those guys over by the mine yeah. now? Yeah, yep. Which one? Uh, right now, Caddo is being annexed. How close? Uh, I am 57% done. Sweet. You might um, try checking out your diplomatic advisor, see if there's one with plus five diplo relation. I will take a look. Mm. He'll boost your annex speed by 0.5% per month. The one I have right now in diplomacy gives me 10% global trade power. Yeah, like, is there another one available that's plus five Diplo rep? Uh, no, actually. Colonial okay. range and spy offense are the only other two. Colonial yeah. range might be effective right now. Maybe. Mm, almost never. He's, he's pretty useless, really. Like, the only time he's ever useful is if you're playing in the beginning of the game as, like, Castile or something, and you've got to get past Cape Verde. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that, which is... Actually, why I think I thought that he was more useful than he actually maybe is, because I usually play as Castile and end up in that situation where I'm like, <laughs> I, I need to like go to war with Portugal to get uh, Cape Verde or like the Azores or something like that. Wait, oh, there's a red thing. There's a, who is this guy? There's a red province. Whoa, that... you, I can't see it, Aruma. I know, neither can I. <laughs> this, like it's I, it's a, it's a new person. I don't know if it's a a native or something or or who it is, but we're gonna find out soon. Oh, that would be crazy if there was, uh, like, one extra native continent that oh, no. was somehow... Oh, no! What's going on? No, why? Okay, well, okay. Mm. 
Okay, well, I guess we're going to probably take a break and splice, right? Yes. All right, see you okay. in a minute. Right. Oh, it's my fault. At least we're back. Math is primarily, and then every single employee at Paradox. Right. From the top to the bottom. What a rotten company, down to the core. It's always them. Blame the, anyway. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm, like, totally convinced that this red province is either a one-province minor little native that's just kind of es escaped our <laughs> conquest, or... I don't know. Who, what color... What countries are orange? Orange. It's like an orangish red. Uh... Uh... <laughs> My, I am Micmac. Uh, oh, yeah, Morocco. maybe it's Panthus. <laughs> it's, it's Morocco. It's got to totally be Morocco. It, could that ever happen? Like, what would it take for Morocco to actually do a conquest? Or, or a colonization before, like, Portugal or, you know, Castile? They uh, they could. I mean, I, I colonized as Granada. So <laughs> if, if Granada can colonize, Morocco could. I just I highly doubt they'd ever take that idea. Yeah. I guess so, because they're too busy trying to fight off Portugal and Castile most of the time. Yeah. And, Maybe Algiers, if things got really weird. Mm -hmm. No, native <laughs> uprisings, and they're dead. Uh, I have a mission right now. Oh, Fortify Michigan. I should have completed that like 100 years ago. That's just... There's nothing to do but click one button. <laughs> oh, no, or am I an idiot? Mm. I think no, I have he... to have an Earth Rampart. Yeah, that's a, a bug that I found in my single-player playthrough as well. Like, it asks oh. you to build buildings you can't even build. Now I have to, like, get that tech level. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted you to know, I still have no idea what these fucking provinces produce, by the way. All question marks. Really? Yeah. After, like, 100 years? Yeah, no idea. They're like, I don't know, just have grass. Grass and Dude, dirt. I'm telling you, it's, it's like uranium or something like that. <laughs> That's great. If we make it to, like, the 1930s, oh. you're going to be in a great position. I see Castile ships. Oh, man. There's a lot of competition happening here. Yeah, there are, like, lots of people hanging out over here. And we're still waiting on who's going to be number one. All right, the Pawnee have been taken. The, the Pawnee you gave them to me are now fully Micmacs. I got, I purged the rest. What's great is that I just got a message that was like, we have now converted Micmac to part of our patrimony. So, like, <laughs> we'll that, you accept Pawnee me. in his single-player series. You're playing Micmac right now, and we're all just, like, trading it back and forth. <laughs> oh, I found a comet. <laughs> the end is now. <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when you're at level three petition stability, right? Petition for a red dress, redress. No, I think it was right? petition for a red dress. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. They can all wear red red dresses they want. So, are one of you two going to colonize those two provinces between, like, next to Lake Erie and? I like. I really want to, but Lake I also Erie? sort of can't afford to right now. Oh. Yeah, I, Fox, I have two. I have two colonies going right now, so I can't really afford another one. Yeah. Mm. As soon as the one of them's done, I'll move over into Asinon or the other one. Doesn't really matter. We have been informed that diplomats of Micmac stopped trying. Oh, okay. Are you improving relations with the Zapotec? No, no, that was a uh, that was with Chickasaw there at max. Mm. I can't quite get to uh, enough to get the Zapotec to enter in a new alliance. I love how even before you have ships, and this is something that, that came up when uh, we were talking at PDXCon about the diplomatic relations thing in, in CK2. Like, how can an Irish count talk to, like, an Indian Raj or something like that? But, like, even before you have boats, I can send a diplomat over here to talk to, talk to the Zapotec. And then they just, like, put him in a big slingshot <laughs> right. and shoot him over the bay here. And he lands yeah, fine like a yeah. cat. And it takes him a while, too. Like, it takes him, like, right. two months to come back. Yep. It's, uh, and they teleport. Right, yeah, like they, they take like a year to know. get, a year to get home, but they get there instantly. It reminds mm -hmm. me of um, there's this online mud multi-user dimensional oh, that I played. Yeah, yeah. You ever play? Uh, you ever play Utopia? Uh, I did not, but I, I was I played a bunch of BBS games when I was younger, so okay, I'm sort of familiar. It, I think it was uh, really funny because you would you would attack other players and take their land, and uh, that was how you would grow. And so your army would instantly teleport there and attack them right away, and then they would like carry acres of land home. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't make any sense, but mm. it was fun. All right, I'm I mean, annexing the other one now to interrupt you guys. That's uh, exciting. Yay. The Chickasaw will be mine. Hmm. No, I, just... I mean, that's I fine. Yes, sure. I should probably annex my guy too, shouldn't I? I don't know. I'm just I'm waiting for the the old world to get here. They're here. They're just 
over there. That that's gotta be <laughs> that's gotta be one of the colonizers, like Norway or England or something, or France. Or, well, France is blue. Is does Norway? How do they colonize though? Like I don't think I've ever seen Norway get like an early colony, except maybe on Greenland or something. You know, it could be um, the Netherlands. They like to colonize. Oh, that would be crazy though, because you have to. I don't know, start as like Burgundy or something like that, form the Netherlands, and then... I don't know. We'll, well see, I guess. It's been over a hundred years. I mean, a lot could have happened over there. You never know. Yeah. Probably they're probably exactly the same starting borders. <laughs> hundred <laughs> no years one. war still going on. <laughs> yeah. Castile hasn't taken anything from Granada. Yeah, or Aragon. Maybe Aragon is going to be the dominant power oh, in Spain. I see, I see England's ships now. Okay. <clears throat> so that's three different countries that I've seen. So they're all coming over here. Like Portugal, Castile, and Spain. Or sorry, Portugal, Castile, and England. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. Do I have a colonist in either of these countries? I do, but he's going so slowly. Ugh. Colonization. Slow and plotting. Am I right? Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> oh, bless you, man. Uh, no, no, thanks. If you could just not do that ever again, it'd be cool. <laughs> We're trying to record a professional video here. Our yeah, colony in Pensacola must business. be expanded to ensure the interests of our settlers are defended. What does that mean? Turn Pensacola into a city? How do I turn something into a city? Mahi Khan is calling me to war. Yeah, fucking, what do you want, Ryan? Just think about it's, it. It's up to you. You don't have Mahi to. Khan. I'll probably be fine. It's 25 prestige if we don't join you. Fine. Right, fuck. I gotta join. That's why I clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to penalize us, aren't you? No, I was like, now, uh, Arumba, you should just like get into that <laughs> province that I'm trying to take ASAP, siege it, take the, the ducats off them, and then... Yeah, how much money do they have, anyway? Uh, <laughs> probably to... probably not very much, if I had to guess. You know, you call me into these wars, and I'm nowhere near these, these areas. I call you in so that maybe you'll misclick and lose, like, 25%. I thought we were working together, good sir. We hey. are. It's like hey. the most minor of annoyances. They have 22 ducats. That I could have taken. That sucks, man. It does. I'm That's like sad. seven months of my deficit right now. You're they can a, keep you the Mohican would... Empire rolling. You have a deficit? Uh, yeah, because I have uh, colonization <laughs> and like no trade. Quick mm. question. And a lot of mercenaries, actually. When I when I just, um, when I go into build like to build buildings, if a if a place is green, I can build it. If it's blue, it already has a building. What happens if it's red? What does that mean? It's like something else is being done in that province. Like, is that what that means? Maybe. Maybe you're like converting culture or something like that. I I just had the same thing actually. Mm hmm. I think that's what it is. There's something else already going on. So I'm slowly changing my army into actual troops instead of mercenaries. That's basically what I'm going through as well. Yeah, I had like 20 regiments of mercenaries. How, how did you lose all your manpower? Was it the war with the like Huron? No, I had tons of manpower. Oh come I just... on! I have I have lost my sync as well, but we are at like 19 minutes now. All right, we'll call that then an episode. All right. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, thank you for watching, everybody. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, hopefully with fewer desyncs. See you soon. Bye bye. Later.